Hi, this video is about PowerPoint. It is about the basics of making your own spaghetti diagram. I have uh, the pre-worked example that we're going to make and just the basic tools of how to make this um, in PowerPoint it should be pretty effective. All right, so to start off with, we are going to want to have the insert tab, and we're going to do all of the um, boxes first. And we use this from from the flowchart area because those boxes you can put text in them. Even though this is for a spaghetti diagram, that's fine. So. I'm going to do control C to copy that. I'm going to paste it. C lines everything up really nice. Control C to copy that. Control V to paste it. That's fine. So, next thing is let's put the text in the boxes. So, let's right click and put edit text. drying station. And um, I can tell you a little bit more about how I came up with this example. I can do that here in a bit. First let's finish um, all the steps to see how to create all of these different parts. Edit the text. Edit text. Okay. Next, let's make these little circles. To do that, let's go to the insert and shapes again, um, flowchart again, and the little circle. We make them just big enough to read. Uh, I also made mine have the shape fill color. Um, can do anything. Let's try that. And then you right click and you say edit text and you can put the number um, one for instance. Because when you're starting you may not know the numbers and where they're going to be. Uh, so then you can control C, copy that, paste it. Um, you know they're going to have six steps. So like just keep making them and you kind of just place them around um, see how that works you just drag them Okay, so let's do our connectors next. So insert shapes, uh, and let's do this curved connector. So let's connect, and then I'm going to actually um, do change the color of this and the weight. And then I'm going to do Control C to copy it, and then I'm going to Control V to paste it. Um, Control C, and then we need five more, so um, this is one of those. We need four more, and then I usually find it pretty effective to just trace the path because you know you start at the sink, and then you went here, and then we're going to go here, and then. What you have here, you go from here to here, and then you're like, well, I went from here to here, and then I went from here to here. So, um, and then you can just change your numbers as you follow your path.
Okay, so um, basically we use the insert tab, the shapes tab for all the elements. Um, and that's, that's it. That's all there is. Um, this example, by the way, was a process where um, I was washing some Tupperware and I had to kept, uh, keep taking it to the drying station, but I would take as much as I could carry once I washed it and then go back. Um, and then I had some stickers that I had taken off the Tupperware, and instead of going back and forth to the trash, I took the stickers off and placed them right on the edge of the sink, and then when I was completely done, I took all the stickers at one time to the trash, so I wasn't making multiple trips. Um, so this is just another example, and I hope this video was helpful. Um, I will see you the next time around. Thanks for watching.